Hello Brick Builders! How you doing today? Mr. Studs with our daily tip number 11. I want to talk about these things right over here. And if you watched our daily tip number 10, you will know that these are called brackets. A lot of times these are used for building the studs on the side or changing directions of things. But I want to particularly talk about how they can add strength to your builds and being able to do so with disguising them. So if you take these two together and you take a tile, notice that they line up just ever so perfectly. One of the wonders of the LEGO building system. So. If we take a couple of bricks and a plate and I think another plate for eight plate thickness and we line those up, look at that. Now we put a tile on there and that is locked tight. Well, locked tight in one direction you will see that it will snap apart. So the best thing to do in this instance, if you don't want that wall to break apart, is put one on the other side and do the same thing. Lock it down. And now we have two sides of that wall that have very little give. All right, and you can disguise these. And I will show you that right now. So at first, I mentioned we are eight plate thicknesses between the two brackets. So if we wanted to go further, and we wanted to, say, add another section, there's a couple ways we can do that. We can add another five plate thicknesses. And this number should... Um, kind of come back to you because when I did the tip on Bricklink or Technic Bricks that was the same number in between was five so we add that in and now we have six studs and it, again it will pop this way but it won't pop from the front so you want to make sure if you're going to stabilize the whole wall, you do the front and the back. But notice now that we have a gap there. And that is not exactly desirable unless you can cover it. A real quick way to cover it is to take a couple of these brackets that are just one thickness down and put them across and then you can build something across that way. And I'm going to show you one more which is if we go to 8. And if we go to 8 we don't, I mean 8 studs down. We'll grab this, we'll put that on again and we don't want that gappiness. We're going to try to get rid of that. So we put that in there, that flushes that up. And we'll put that, oops, sorry. I forgot my other, there we go. We put our other bracket back to back and these will line up just like so, okay? So we have a top bracket and a bottom bracket and we're gonna put this one on here. So then we put in two plates. We Add our bricks, a couple of plates again, and like so. So that sets us eight across. And again, this is just two sections kind of put together. Okay. And then we can take an eight long plate and put that on. And this is where you can really start doing some fun stuff. You take plate the uh, brackets along all that side. And then we can start covering this way and that way, and we can make it all super strong and build it up and 
Ah, you could even make a pyramid out of that. So, there are some ideas for you on how to use bricks to add, or brackets to add strength to your builds. Hopefully it was helpful. I showed in the balloon car where the back of the uh, bricks I was using to trap the balloon were falling apart. Well, that was because I didn't have brackets there to make sure that the balloon stayed in place. So if you'd use brackets on the side, you would have been able to keep that thing together. I'm just breaking this down for fun. All right. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Thank you to all people who like, subscribe, and share it. Please keep doing so. We have a Patreon account, so if you want to see more of these videos and you want to see the quality improve, please consider going and pledging support to us on Patreon. Thank you so much. Keep dreaming in bricks. Bye-bye.